My son's fascination with fishing has lunged straight from catching sticklebacks with a net to wrestling large predatory oh, fish. How did they convince me to put a pike in our plunge pool? I already have a large organic pool, so my organic plunge pool is somewhat surplus to requirements. I've let it go wild, partly as a result of neglect, but I see it more positively as an experiment in rewilding. Generally, an organic pool should not have fish. They cause sediment disturbance and eat zooplankton, which can lead to murky water. However, to demonstrate the problems caused by fish, I introduce grass carp. They are entirely plant feeders, so I wanted to see if these fish would allow the pool to remain clear. It hasn't, but to add further confusion, unbeknown to me, one of my children put in his own small fish, sticklebacks. A pool can turn opaque with suspended single-celled algae, but in a healthy organic pool without fish, this algae is kept at bay by Daphnia, another zooplankton. However, stickleback are ferocious eaters of Daphnia, and without control, they could cause a degradation of water clarity. So my son has suggested adding yet another fish, a fish-eating fish. A pike is a top predator, and it will control the stickleback. For our pool, a young pike should avoid the grass carp and focus on the small stickleback. That's it, just keep it there. A top or apex predator will have a cascading effect on the food web. This should allow the Daphnia to recover and let the water become clear again, while contributing to rewilding the landscape one small pond at a time. It will also give a bit of an edge to future swimming.